Hi, uh, so today's video is going to be about graphing using x-intercepts and y-intercepts. Okay, so we talked already about graphing lines um, using uh, slope and y-intercept. Okay, today I just want to talk a little bit about a different way to graph, a little bit easier. Okay, um, so for example, this line that I drew right here has an inter x-intercept that's right there and a y-intercept that's right there okay so you see this point here okay that's the place where the line intersects the x-axis okay and the one thing that we know about that point is that the y-coordinate is zero okay see how it's right on the x-axis well that means that the y-coordinate is zero okay and this point right here intercepts the y-axis, which means that its x-coordinate is zero. Okay? So we're going to use those facts to find out what the actual values of the intercepts are, and then we'll be able to graph the line. Okay? So here's an example. Okay, so what we're going to start with is we're going to start by finding out the x-intercept. Okay? So the x-intercept we know that the y value is zero, right? Because we know that the x-intercept is going to be somewhere along the axis, which means that the y-coordinate is zero, right? So it'll be zero, and x will be either on this side or on this side, okay? So what we do is we let y be zero, okay? And then we take this equation, okay? And we do what we talked about. We substitute what we know. And we get 2x is 6. So we get x is divide both sides by 2. And we get x is 3. Okay. So there's my x-intercept. Okay. And for the y-intercept, okay, we're going to let x be 0. Okay. So that means it's going to be 2 times 0 plus 3y is equal to 6. So that means 3y is 6, so y is 2. So there's my y-intercept, okay? And now all that's left to do is we just need to pull a straight line that goes through the x-intercept and the y-intercept, okay? So there's my line, okay? It goes through the x-intercept, it goes through the y-intercept, okay? All right, so let's try another one. So graph the relationship 4x minus 2y is equal to 8. Okay, so let's start with the y-intercept this time. Okay, so for the y-intercept, we're going to let x be 0. Okay, so x is 0. So we have 4 times 0 minus 2y is 8. Well, that's 0, so we get negative 2y is 8. We devote, divide both sides by negative 2. Okay, and we're left with y is negative 4. Okay, so y is negative 4. And for the x-intercept, we're going to let y be 0. So we get 4x minus 2 times 0 is 8. So we get 4x is 8, so x is 2. Okay, and now all that's left is to make our line. Okay, so there's our line. goes through the y-intercept, through the x-intercept. Okay, so I just want to point out that when we're looking for the x-intercept, we make y equal to 0, right? So if y is 0, we're just looking at solving the equation of 4x is equal to 8. If we're looking for the y-intercept, we let x be 0. So then we're looking to solve the equation negative 2y is 8. Okay? So that's another way that we can graph, and it's a lot easier and quicker in a lot of situations than the y equals mx plus b4. Okay? Well, that's all. I'll see you in class.